Hello, welcome to section 4, Configure Virtual Storage. This video is about overview of storage concept, where we are going to take a look at what is virtual storage, types of storage protocol, storage protocols comparison, and considerations while choosing the storage for your virtual data center. So the first point is, what is virtual storage? Storage is an essential part for any virtual data center or a physical data center. In a physical data center, we have physical storage available. In a virtual data center, we pool those physical storage and create virtual storage, which provides the capacity for your virtual machines. And whatever file you have on the virtual machine, it gets stored on the virtual storage. And most of the vSphere or virtual environment uses shared storage. Though you can also use local attached storage, but it will not provide you all the functionalities such as HA and vMotion if you are using a local attached storage. So we always prefer to use shared storage. So this is about the virtual storage what we have. Now overview of virtual storage. We have three layers on Bottom layer, we have storage pools, which has bunch of disk available and using that bunch of disk, we create LUNs and we assign those LUNs to the ESXi host and using those LUNs, ESXi host creates data stores and from that data stores, it assign some space to the virtual machines in a form of virtual disk, which is known as VDisk. Now types of storage protocol, if we'll talk about the storage, we have two types of storage, one is block level and another one is file level. And if we'll talk about the block level, we have DAS and SAN. In DAS, we have SCSI storage, SATA storage and SAS storage. And if we'll talk about the SAN, we have FC storage, FC OE and iSCSI. FC is known as fiber channel, whereas FC OE is known as fiber channel over the ethernet and if we'll talk about the file level we have NAS in which we have SMB and NFS in next slide we'll go through with the SAN storage what we have FC storage so FC storage will go through with the basic architecture we have disk array where we have multiple disk and those disk having FC storage on top layer, we have disk array where we have bunch of disk in a form of FC storage. And that array is connected with the storage processor and that storage processor is connected with the fiber channel switch. And that fiber channel switch is connected to the HBA cards which is attached on the ESXi host. And using those HBA card, ESXi get the storage space from FC storage. Now we'll see FCOE storage, fiber channel over ethernet. In fiber channel over ethernet, we have mixed kind of storage. It can be either fiber channel FC SAN storage or we can have LAN based storage. And FC storage has HB attached and LAN based storage has NIC attached. And those HBA and NIC make the connection with the FCOE switch, which is fiber channel over the ethernet switch and this FCOE switch gets connected with the CNA card. CNA means converse network adapter. In a converse network adapter we have mixed kind of ports like we have HBA port as well as ethernet ports. So FCOE is connected with the CNA card which is attached on the ESXi host. And using that way, we get the storage space from FCOE storage. Now moving to the iSCSI storage. In the same form, we have disk array, but that is not a FC storage. We have iSCSI storage available. And that iSCSI storage and array is connected with the IP switch through storage processor. And that 
IP switch is connected with the HBA card or software iSCSI initiator which is available on the ESXi host and using that connection we get the storage space. The last we have NFS storage. So NFS storage we have available on the network. It is connected with the ESXi host through the Ethernet port and using that Ethernet port ESXi get the storage space from the NFS storage. So that's about the storage part. Now we have a storage protocol comparison. We have multiple features available in the vSphere such as boot from SAN, vSphere vMotion, vSphere HA, vSphere DRS and RDM. So we'll see the storage protocol what we have in form of fiber channel, FCOE, iSCSI, NFS, DAS, Ethernet and vSAN. And the type we have VMFS, direct attached storage and VWALS. So this is the comparison we have if we have fiber channel and the VMFS data store type it supports all the features such as boot from SAN, vMotion, HA, DRS and RDM. And the same we have for FCOE and iSCSI. And if we have NFS storage it doesn't support boot from SAN as well as RDM disk and if we have DAS available it doesn't support boot from SAN, HA and DRS and the same we have for FC and vSAN. FC doesn't support boot from SAN and RDM and same for vSAN. vSAN also doesn't support boot from SAN as well as RDM. So this is the basic comparison if we are using the storage protocol so that we need to keep in mind while choosing the storage protocol in our environment that which feature we require so that we can get these all features available. Now consideration when choosing the best storage. Definitely when you are going to choose a storage you will have to keep in mind few things such as capacity, what capacity you require, which kind of performance you require, existing application requirement if any dependency is there, resilient, it should be reliable, scalable, LUN size what you require, IO bandwidth, IO request per second that a LUN is capable of, disk cache parameters, zoning and masking, identical LUN presentation to each ESXi host and array type. So these are the considerations when we are choosing the best storage for our environment. So that's all from this video. In next video we are going to take a look at the understanding of different type of data stores. Stay tuned. Thank you.